Hey Linewalkers, this is Jamie from ItoldYouIWasSick.com and I have a brand new video for you today. It is in the series, Why Autistic People Do That? This is video number 11. This one is called, Teasing Means They Like You. What? Okay, so if you've been keeping up with the series, or maybe this is the first one that you've watched, this is a series that I'm doing to explain why autistic people do the things they do, and I got this information much from my own brain and my own experiences, but also because I asked on an autistic forum, name something obvious to neurotypicals that when you found out about it, absolutely shocked you. And I got so many amazing responses. And one of the things that people mentioned was that teasing, if a neurotypical person teases you, it means that they like you. So I am going to read what I wrote about that. And then I'm going to talk about it a little bit. So, I hate this one. I was bullied a lot as a child. More often than not, truthfully. Plus, with all the misunderstandings that occurred just as a result of me being me and seeing the world so differently, I felt mocked and ridiculed constantly. So, when I got a bit older and people started doing this thing called pretending to feel emotions they don't feel, that's what I used to call it, I was absolutely baffled and distressed by it. I got to find out that this behavior is a sign that people like me. In other words, fake frowning and saying, I'm mad at you, me taking it seriously, and then them laughing saying that they were only joking was some sort of teasing ritual. Or somebody pointing out some weird quirk and they are doing this to bond and relate with me. That makes about as much sense to me as somebody stabbing you because they want to take you on a date. Seriously, I've learned to live with it, but I don't like it and I don't understand it. Pardon me. Um, so, yeah. This isn't going to be a very long video because it's kind of self-explanatory. But I can honestly tell you that teasing to me is something that I have really, really had to get used to. It's not something that I find... I guess now I kind of find it funny, and for the people that I trust, I'm okay with it. But for the longest time, I would just have the, I mean, I want to say the inappropriate response, because that's how it was viewed on the neurotypical side, is that I was having the totally wrong and inappropriate response to being teased. But for me, on my side, it was a totally justified response. And unfortunately, I cannot give examples because I cannot think of examples, but, you know, people have... You know how teasing goes, you know, people may make fun of a quirk that you have or they may, you know, literally push you or push your buttons, you know, because they know something irritates you and then you get irritated and then you all have a good laugh about it. Well, that's not how it is for autistic people. I can't speak for every autistic person, but we're very literal people. So if you say something to us, we're going to take you seriously. And if you say that you're mad at us, we're going to think, yeah, you're mad at us. Or if you're doing or saying something that ordinarily we would find upsetting, we think that you don't like us. Or, you know, it's something negative. It's, it's never something positive. For me, it's just, I think, just like a lot of different neurotypical behaviors, I've just gotten used to them so that I don't end up having like a response that's totally not what they expected and then ruin the mood and I'm kind of like, oh, haha, -ha, that's funny, that's great, and then let's move on to something else. Most people who are close with me know not to tease me. Um, if they do, sometimes I will give them a blank look or I won't understand why the emotion in the room has changed or the energy in the room has changed and I'm like... Because for me it's like a baseball that just came out of the sky and hit me in the head. It's not a part of the interaction. For me, it's like, you know, we're having an interaction, we're talking about something, and then all of a sudden there's this curveball that comes and hits me. And I'm like, what just happened? And, like, their whole demeanor will change. And they're like, oh, I was just teasing you. And I'm like, okay, I felt like somebody pulled a rug out from under me, and now I'm panicking, and now I'm shutting down emotionally. But sure, awesome, that was funny. So if you are on the spectrum and teasing to you is about as foreign as trying to have a conversation with an alien. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you can relate to this because 
it's just one of those things that um, I don't know if maybe I'm especially susceptible to it because I was picked on and bullied and abused and I come from an abusive background and I have PTSD so maybe I'm a little more susceptible than most or if uh, if you happen to be on the spectrum and you're somebody who does not understand teasing and doesn't like teasing definitely let me know and any other thoughts you have leave them in the comments below uh, whether you're on YouTube or on Facebook and I will also put a link to all of the videos in the series below so that you can check them out and I'm gonna just do a short outro on this one I'm just gonna thank you for watching and tell you that I will see you in the next video